second part to it? Because we have the same same thing that some oddities in the unit pricing. And I didn't I just want to make sure we're getting what kind of PVC we want and all that kind of stuff. Is that all spe spelled out in the bid document? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear yes, that? It is. It is? Now we moved the well over to the south a little bit. Or is that going to change the, the amount of PVC or whatever? Well, we took it. That was brought up. I mean, yeah, we're taking it. It's going to, I don't have the full plants in here, but it's going to the uh, south uh, property line of lot one. That's <coughs> how far we're taking the sewer and the water. That's all far we're going now. I mean, so yeah, I mean, yeah, so he would have added 40 feet onto it because we need the whole thing 40 feet. Right. But not, not a big introduction. Okay. Anybody okay. <coughs> understand? Any other questions? It looked, it looked like good bids. The only other concern I had was that company <laughs> on number two. Oh, no, it's number two. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. You're talking to Kirk. Kirk. No, I'm talking Mr. Uh, <laughs> engineering and uh, the Sioux City. Sioux City Engineering. And we, we, we had a slippery road over on ports when we had them in town. We had a couple of is that a, uh, is, is that any concern on this kind of project? I mean, what, this is what they're good at, I thought, but maybe I'm wrong. We've had that discussion, Rex. Okay, well, I tried uh, to say it gingerly. Just give me your gingerly best answer. Mike, Michael is going to watch that very, very close. Right, Michael? Yep. Yeah. We'll do our best. We're, we used we're to currently work. working with Sioux City Engineering on a couple projects that are going well so far, and there is no paving on this project. Right. Um, and I, I feel pretty good about their underground utility crews, well, the, but we're definitely be out there watching them, making sure they put it the, in right. The paving was the most of the issue last time. Not mistaken, yeah. but the other thing was we had uh, 40 days and 40 nights of rain. Yes, and we had a ton of and rain during that time. Fourth time the project. So, so, so it wasn't maybe you know maybe this council is not being totally fair. So I think there were extenuating circumstances. Well, we're going to leave it, uh, Michael. That uh, you know we're we're paying you and your company, and we just don't want any surprises. So we assume we'll just go right ahead with it. Yep. Motion to adopt resolution 2021 of contracts for well 14 well water main and sanitary sewer extension project. Section one to LML builders for 1,266,399. And section two to Sioux City Engineering, 880,479. Okay, is there a second? So moved. Motion made and second to adopt resolution number 20-21 awarding the contracts for the well number 14 raw water main and sanitary sewer extension to uh, l l Builders, Section 2, in the amount of $1,266,399. And project number one. It's the first thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Excuse me. number one in Sioux You want to write this down? Anyway, Sioux City Engineering in the amount of $880,479. And no cents. We have a roll call there. Yeah. Yes. Good child. Yes. Wick? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. No. Yes. Motion carried. <coughs> Okay, now we're going to talk about the action items. Uh, 
It's good to have everybody back. Yeah. Discussion. A lot of discussion. Excuse me. Um, uh, Mike, anything on this? I don't have anything to bring up. Okay. Clark? Um, I'll pass. Okay. No, Rex? Nothing. Sir. Ken? I'm going to pass also. Steve? I'll follow suit. Nothing. Well, that is it. Okay, moving on to the city administrator. We have about 40 minutes to fill, guys. We've got, <laughs> we got, we got a 1.30 meeting. <laughs> that consultation. Uh, okay, uh, I laid some stuff in front of you this morning. Um, we can start with that CWC, so whatever, what says CMBA architects, that's, uh, I think I did this last time. Uh, we were just up there yesterday and did a walkthrough, and so this is just an updated uh, report on the progress of that project uh, with some pretty photos. Uh, the biggest thing probably is uh, steel started going up yesterday for that uh, front addition. Um, so hopefully, I don't know what it'll look like by the end of the day. They did, and they, there was some good progress yesterday, so I would assume that a lot of it should be done today. Um, so that will start taking shape, at least. Uh, the more interesting stuff, if you haven't been inside the building, are these other photos of how things are coming along inside there. Um, none of it looks pretty right now, um, but it's starting to take shape. That weight, uh, the free, what I labeled as the free weight room, on that last page, um, that pretty much is done. So that is shooting for um, getting equipment put back in it and then uh, reopened for use uh, within two weeks, probably. Um, though that's one of those things that was able to move along a little bit sooner because of the Y shutting down. So they decided to start putting on steel yesterday because they knew people were in a boat today. Oh, and yeah, the problem. And then there'd be all this activity up there, so they don't look, look really good. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's, no, if you remember, no, I don't think it was planned that way. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was a delay on getting the steel, and then the delivery date for the steel was May 27th. So that started. So. Installing it. Uh, any questions on that? Um, In other words, so far so good is what you're saying. Yes. Ryan, Ryan is our general up there, right? Correct. He's the project manager. Correct. You know, right. Feel pretty good about that. So. Yeah, it's actually Blake. Blake Wilchin is is there every day. Well, that'll never do. <laughs> I don't even know who he is. <laughs> That's Ryan's <laughs> son. Oh, it's Ryan's son. Yeah. Oh, yes, brother. I didn't know Ryan was old enough to have it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What do I know? The rest of us are getting old. <laughs> um, I will jump. Uh, next one, we have a. There, here is the design for Cleveland Castle. I wanted you to see it um, first. Uh, before, because then from here, um, I will probably I will distribute it to the media. I mean, we'll put it on our website, and it will become uh, public, I guess. Uh, schedule. Uh, I just met up there this morning with um, Scott Knipe and Brad Epling, and then also um, Cody with Specialized concrete. Um, they will be working on the subgrade uh, prep and getting that ready. Uh, it's anticipated uh, Mark Leathers, uh, who will be building, constructing the playground, they're anticipated to be here June 22nd and then hopefully start construction June 25th or 26th. Uh, and his original plan was that total time for construction would be approximately five weeks uh, from completion to end. Uh, and then I also put in there a couple larger photos 
of um, two of the bigger pieces of equipment, uh, play features that will be up there. The one is a zip cruise. It's what the name says it is. It's, it's like a zip line type thing. And then the other one is a Neos 360, which is kind of like a big sign that says. Um, so it's flashing lights and you go push the colors and it's got like eight games that you can play on it. So those are two of the larger pieces. Are those, are those coin operated? Or, I mean, are they uh, just the big mice? Um, I'm not 100% sure on the noise. I think it, it must because it's accessible. As, so uh, if it's hearing and pay, uh, sight, and, mm. yeah, I mean, so uh, I've got a nice little book if you want to read the book. About it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so that's that. Any comments on that? Um, we did do, I think there was some concern about fencing in the entire thing. Well, this picture, I was going to bring that up, but then the picture shows every other slide is green, so I'm assuming it's the green outside, so it's not a solid fence, correct? All uh, right, okay, so the, the small child, which is like the two to five year age group area, yeah, that one does have a fence. Right, but it's not a solid, it looks like correct. every other slide, so it's it's an open fence. Yes, yeah, correct. Okay, good. Okay. Um, and then the, the bigger portion uh, does not have a fence. Right. Got a border. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is 100% uh, rubberized safety surface okay. on the thing. So, I mean, wheelchairs can go around it and yep. stuff like that, right? Yep. That, that was one of the concerns. Huh? Yeah, that was one of the concerns. So. Yeah. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. So, if that's all right, I mean, um, I mean, if you want to change stuff, you can change stuff, but some stuff is ordered already. <laughs> uh, I have to say, Jason and the group have spent a lot of time on this, and uh, I've been back and forth with this and others' company, but they <coughs> seem to be very cooperative and working with us on our changes and things, so uh, good job. Do they, do they give us a time on our, on our castle, the ice cream castle that come down? When it was built, it was estimated to be a 20, 25 year deal. I think it made it 19 or 20 years. So that, but did, did they say anything about this? Uh, that is, yes, they did. I think, I believe, without having a document in front of me, I think it was, it's 30 years. Okay. Okay. You know, and I'll realize um, that's on the equipment, okay, because that's what they're building. Um, the safety surfacing they're also doing, but that's part of. That's where it's going to be critical um, that that subgrade is done properly, because what that is, I mean, it's um, there's crushing, so there's crushed concrete, and they'll come and put that rubberized surfacing over the top of that. So if there's any settlement, they're not doing that. We're doing the subgrade prep. So is so it we drain one direction to the south to the I mean uh, the natural layup there it's a one percent it's going to be one percent one percent grade on it and it uh, just the normal uh, grade of that park up there flows from south to north. Any work to be done associated with parking in and around this? That thing? is yet to come. That's not part of this. Mm -hmm. Of course, but there is a. Uh, yeah, I've been working with Schlofelds to get uh, with Wayne to get that parking lot designed and in a restroom also in there. So um, I would like to have that done as soon as this is open, but that might not be the case. I mean, sure. we may, I mean, that may be a fall project that okay. we'll work on that. Size-wise compared to Cleveland Castle? This Almost is exactly, I checked that this morning. This is 10,600 and some odd square feet, and I believe the Old Cleveland Castle was just over ten thousand. Okay. Um, nice this is more open, though. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. I mean it's more open. Um, it seems more sprawling. More. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of these, um, you know, even though the piece of equipment is only thirty feet long, you need fifty-five feet because of getting around it. And all yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Where are we at on a tool? 
It's still in the same spot. Yeah. But we loved it down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, other than meeting, I mean, standing on site. Uh, I get it. Huh? Did you hear what he said? No. I tried to talk him over. He said you got an evaluation coming up. That's right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Anyway, I'm too old. I'm too old. I, I know this was forefront. I yeah, I wanted to make sure that this got going off the ground first before. I got concentrating on that one. Okay. I mean, so I know what the intent is up there. It's just a matter of now pulling everything together to get going. Sounds good. And getting the word out about here's what it's going to look like. I know there's a lot of interest out about it. Is this going to just go, what, the media will describe it over the radio or we got Facebook? And well, it'll go to paper. It'll go on all of our stuff. It'll go on our website. And it'll go on our Facebook. Um, I mean, yeah, so we'll get it out there. We'll, okay. We can have copies here at City Hall if people want to come pick them up. Or okay. the library. Put, put it on the police department's website. They get more hits than any. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> right. I'm being mean, serious. You put, put it with a dog, put a dog up in the corner. Yeah, <laughs> okay. On your lights. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. There's yeah. this picture in there. <laughs> Picture of Justin on the yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. then the, the last thing I had was if you haven't noticed, because the, the last one was just put up this morning, but the speed uh, warning signs out on Business 75. So from basically Airport Road out that way, those are both up now. So you can check your speeds as you're driving there. So if, I, so if I didn't notice it this morning when I was driving in, I got very cold. One, uh, the <laughs> one observation yesterday after they got the um, the northbound one put up was it was flashing a lot. <laughs> so note to PD, uh, it was flashing a lot. Um, the price of fines going up? Yes, <laughs> Stop there. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, and that's not the intent. The intent no. is to yeah, is, just is to curb the speed. It's the intent is not to curb the speed. I think realization is a good move. Yeah. So I'm that's to drive out there and test it. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, you're never going to hit the right. Yeah, does it blink if you go too slow, too, Dick? <laughs> That'd be you. I had that in the parade the other day. Yeah. That's all I have. Unless you guys have questions. Okay, any other questions for Jason? Oh, she's so adjourned. Wait. No. Do we got Jason. Right. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, you can, you you can skip me if you want, yeah. Steve. Um, I only have two quick things today. Uh, Last council meeting, we talked a little bit about revenue salt shortfalls from COVID. Um, I just wanted to mention in this council meeting um, and give a kudos out to our departments um, for keeping expenses down related to COVID. Um, we're still under 10,000, kind of what I've been telling you guys. And um, a large part of that's due to the departments um, being cost um, conscious during this time. I know it'd be easier to run out and um, spend a bunch of money on this, um, but they have gotten the materials they needed, um, but done it in a, in a cost-effective way. Um, so just a kudos out to them for doing that. Um, and then uh, I did want to let you know, we got another uh, FEMA reimbursement for flood. Um, so those are slowly trickling in. Um, this one was for just over 8,000. Uh, so in total, we've got uh, just over 125,000 back from them so far um, for the flood recovery. What's our target? What are we hoping for? Um, we still have a little ways to go. Uh, Is this most of it? it? There's there's three or four more projects that they still have to pay out on. Okay. Um, so I'm hoping we're only like 50% of the way there, um, but we'll see what comes in on those. Yeah, so FEMA's will be 75% of the cost, then 10% comes from the state. And then we're local is 15%. Right, so this is just FEMA so far. The state pays once once FEMA's all done. So. 
Any, That's all I have. Any questions for Thank you, David. Hang up. Uh, I just want to close, or before we close, I just want to remind everybody once again, uh, not, not only forget to vote today, Mike, but uh, also uh, don't forget to cast your uh, census ballots. Uh, get the census thing going, because it's, again, uh, very, very important to this city going down the road. And uh, I had an opportunity to uh, in the Hawaiian House show, uh, and I announced uh, Last week, uh, we've also put it on our website. Our claimants put it on their website. Just, just continually remind people. To get. We're sitting at just about what is it, Greg, seventy. Just over seventy percent right now for a self-response rate. And we got about a little over thirty percent to go. So. Yep. The state right now, the state average is uh, just a little over sixty percent. So we, and we got a, Dick and I had both gotten an email, I believe uh, Plymouth County um, is within the top 10% of the self-response rates right now. So we're- at the, at the risk of asking a very tricky question, how do you know we're at 70% of a number when we're polling the very number we're trying to- Correct, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, they go by the old census? They, they use the old census, and then they also use a projection right, okay. for what they think we're going to okay. come in at, but they just don't know that for sure. I answer that part very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was kind of curious because I'm thinking, okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Motion to make a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed?